Hello everybody, welcome in. It's Laura from Tenacious Taurus Twin Flame Tarot. Let's talk about these energies today. Let's see what kind of a message needs to come through today for December 29th. Keep in mind guys, timing and energy is fluid. This reading could resonate today or it could play out over the next several days. This reading may or may not be for you. So please do only take with you the messages that resonate and leave behind the rest. So um, 29 is a very karmic number. So I kind of feel a lot of self-mastery coming through. We do have a couple very powerful transits today um, with the astrology. We do have the sun square Chiron, which is a very hard aspect. We also have Mercury conjunct Venus and Mars sextile Saturn. So I kind of feel testing in the energy. I know earlier today, it was very hard to stay focused, to stay grounded. Um, it was feeling very heavy. So I kind of feel this energy of somebody needing to make up their mind and to stick with it. And I do feel persevering through any challenges that might be arising. I kind of feel um, this need for individuality um, coming through. And I kind of do feel with Mercury conjunct Venus, this is the perfect time um, to tell somebody that you love them. So I think maybe communication is coming when it comes to some recognition of, of a soulmate connection here. So I kind of think get ready to learn some lessons. I think if you've been feeling distracted, um, you might need to get grounded. I think negotiation energy is coming through. But let's see um, what needs to come through with the cards when it comes to today's energy. And we are going to start off with the spiritual journey oracle deck today um feel free to hit that subscribe button below if you haven't already joined the channel and let's see um what kind of a message needs to come through for the collective today remember this is not sign specific but i will call out any signs that i do see um i think manifestation yeah there's um something coming to fruition today there is, without a doubt, a rediscovery of something maybe you didn't quite know before. <laughs> yeah, there's that obstruction. <laughs> That's what I was feeling in the energies, a roadblock energy. Um, It was feeling very blocked. It took me quite a while to be able to sit at my desk and get anything accomplished today. So there's um, definitely some challenges to be dealt with in the energies today. Um, maybe there's a need for some protection as well. But I think, um, yeah, there's that karmic lesson. Um, it never ceases to amaze me how, how my guides um, always seem to make that work for me. So there's something that is needing resolution in the energies today, stemming around some past life experiences, some past life karma. So major painful lessons being learned in the energies today in order to step into some expansive growth. So get ready for a rediscovery. I think it's time to kind of peel back the veil, peel back the layers of a person or a situation and to discover something you didn't quite know before. So there's definitely something manifesting and without a doubt, somebody here is stepping into living consciously, making healthy decisions um, for their life rather than kind of letting life just happen to them. So I feel conscious choice choices a decision is being made in the energy today in order for the betterment of your life and all of those that you are connected with. So practice the law of positivity, the law of attraction. Something is being manifested in the energies today and what we think is created in our physical reality. So what are your thoughts affirming to you? Um, and maybe there is a need to spend some time in nature to, to um, get grounded with Mother Gaia um, to embrace the beautiful rawness of the earth um, in order to kind of retreat from whatever obstruction is coming up because I do feel unconditional love is in focus today. Healing light, it's kind of time for somebody to show love to you or maybe it's time for you to express your feelings to somebody but I feel healthy relationships are in focus with today's transit and Maybe you're going to be facing some criticism of others based on the decisions that you're making for your life, but 
you are encouraged to make choices for your life that are going to turn into opportunities for growth. So reflection might be needed in order for some healing. And I do um, feel a circumstance is coming to the surface to be addressed when it is stemming around a negative karmic toxic pattern that is needing to be addressed in order to learn this painful lesson once and for all to step into a new unconditionally loving experience. So let's see what else needs to come through with the energy oracle deck with today's message. What else do we need to be aware of when it comes to today's energy? There's that doorway to romance. I think somebody's finally getting ready to uncage their heart, to give their heart away. We do have the woman holding a heart today and the thinking woman. So I feel a feminine energy here without a doubt. That really has been in deep inner contemplation about who the heck am I going to give my heart away to. So um, get ready because not only is the doorway to romance opening up, but I think as the gateway of the heart is open and ready to receive reciprocity, that is in turn opening up the doorway to value. And as within, so without, as you kind of fully open up your heart and embrace your authenticity and step into unconditional love, it truly does open up the doorway to value in all aspects of your life. So mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all is what they want me to say. Get ready for something to come back around that is needing to be addressed. A rediscovery when it comes to some past energy is what I'm feeling. Um, it's feeling um, there's this need for karmic rebalancing. And um, somebody here is at the crossroads. I feel there's been this chronic indecision. I feel there's been a lot of um, depression looking back on the past mistakes. And I feel there is a lot of anxiety when it comes to stepping into a new experience. Um, another eight energy. So I think a lot is being mirror reflected um, in the energies today stemming around some fear. Um, what's really been keeping you stuck from stepping into living consciously and making choices to better your life. I don't feel there's any communication taking place at the moment. I feel somebody's cloaked in some very dark um, evaluation when it comes to which direction they're going to be going in. So um, let's see what is um, influencing these energies today. I do feel... Get ready to give your heart away. Somebody here, I think, is coming forward with a new romantic offer. And I do feel this is going to lead to a lot of abundance. So maybe somebody is in need of some professional assistance. Maybe seeking some spiritual counsel. Um, I feel a, a signing of a new contract. Illumination when it comes to some people in and around you. And there is that, that rediscovery. I think a brand new rediscovery. I think maybe somebody here has been hiding behind a mask um, and that's going to create a huge um, conflicting obstruction in the energies today. Somebody here has been playing it safe and the time is now for profound life change, profound life transformation. So I think listen to the guidance that you've been receiving from your higher self. Um, uh, maybe there's a shift in family and friends within a, within a social structure. But there's going to be a complete transformation. There is the closing of a cycle, stepping into some new energy, and I feel setting that healing intention. Stop playing it safe. I feel get ready to face an obstacle, a major conflict, because somebody here is not being authentic. Somebody here is hiding some true intentions. And I feel the time is now to realize who within your social circle is deceiving you, I think somebody here is being gossiped about behind the scenes and that really is a block when it comes to bringing a peaceful union together, perhaps even a new creative endeavor. But let's see what needs to come through with the psychic tarot when it comes to these energies today, guys. Let's see what needs to come through. That one, destiny, fated, destined, change. Spend some time alone. I do feel be that pillar of light. I feel seeking some new information. I feel truth. I also feel, yeah, a challenge with the mountain behind her. I kind of feel this woman holding a heart that's been thinking about who she wants to give it away to has been in solitude. I kind of feel she is in this peaceful energy of just kind of doing her own thing, being that pillar of light, standing in her authentic truth, maybe even bringing forward some spiritual wisdom. Um, she's holding the book of knowledge is what I'm feeling. 
and I feel somebody behind her is facing all kinds of obstacles and challenges, and there is going to be a faded turn of events. I feel somebody here is integrating all of these past life experiences, all of these past life facets of self, um, because there is going to be an unexpected choice in love. We have the lovers, so it is about harmony, balance, reciprocity, and unconditional love, so I feel um, maybe there's been a block when it comes to an unhealthy attachment. We do have temptation in the sacral chakra, so um, I kind of feel a very karmic connection here that was that was built on lust, that I feel somebody is coming into a greater awareness and understanding of that as some light is being shone on a, on a very toxic karmic situation. And I feel somebody here is stepping into a new loving experience. And this is being manifested. This is faded, destined change. So let's see um, what is being evaluated when it comes to this message today. Oh, I forgot one. Balance. Yeah, somebody here is manifesting balance, uh, moderation. There's a need for moderation. There is something without a doubt coming. Full circle is the energy. Yeah, because somebody's stuck in a, in a situation this never-ending story. Why again? Why am I here again? It's time to kind of close out a karmic cycle. But let's see what is being evaluated in the energies today. And I did just notice 1111. So I feel twin flame energy. And it's kind of time to clean up a mess. Get ready for some chaos and conflict. Because there's something needing to come back around from the past. I think somebody's getting ready to express their love to somebody. Because there is, without a doubt, a divinely guided union here, an unfinished symphony, and get ready for some chaos and conflict in order for you to clean up some karmic baggage from the past. There's a major cycle closing out. <coughs> Excuse me. And I do feel there is a need to speak up, to speak some truth. So let's see what needs to come through with the tarot when it comes to this message today. Okay, and the Six of Swords just flipped out in reverse. So somebody's dealing with a lot of manipulation. A lot of blockages is what I feel around some third-party drama. So, and I just saw the Emperor. So I kind of feel a Divine Masculine is, is going through it in the energies today. We do have the Fool reversed, the King of Cups reversed, and the Knight of Wands reversed. So... There's been resistance to taking a leap of faith. I feel somebody's blocked their emotions. Somebody here has not been emotionally available is kind of the energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries. And then we do have Aries, Leo, Sag. So I feel get ready for an unexpected departure in the energies because um, there's an empress at play. So there is without a doubt a spiritual union here coming through. Taurus, Libra, it doesn't have to be. But I kind of feel, get ready for some communication. There's going to be a lot of back and forth, passionate communication. I think somebody in the past made a very um, bad decision, made a very poor judgment call, and, you know, maybe acted very foolish and didn't offer their heart to this empress in the past. This empress truly is glowing. She represents unconditional love. The empress is all queens wrapped into one. She truly is the mother of all mothers. She radiates unconditional love. She's very fruitful. There's a lot of abundance surrounding this empress energy. And I feel something is coming full circle um, when it comes to a new beginning in love. And I feel maybe there's been resistance to opening up the gateway of the heart to communicating um, with with this empress and I kind of feel there's been resistance maybe there's been fear of giving up independence and so somebody kind of went in a very toxic situation to maybe learn another karmic lesson but I think get ready for somebody to come rushing in with some communication maybe expressing that they've walked away from a very conflicting situation that was riddled with manipulation, lies, deceit, belittling, gaslighting, this, I gotta win at all costs. And I think there's something hidden here. There's some hidden repressed passions here. And I think get ready for somebody to come out of hiding is the energies coming through. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius coming through. We also have Virgo 
And we do have Pisces Cancer with the moon, but there's this new creative spark. I think this new passion. Um, somebody is getting ready to come out of inner introspection, to come out of hiding, and I feel to rush in with some communication. I feel with a lot of truth. Somebody's getting ready to cut through the bullshit, to clean up a mess. I do feel a water sign energy. Very well could be a water sign energy. But this empress is about to receive a lot of passionate communication from somebody that I feel did not honor her and did not value her in the past and maybe come in for a night of passion for one thing only and, you know, didn't offer commitment. And I'm sorry, but the empress isn't going to settle for anything less than utmost commitment because she knows her worth. She knows her value and she doesn't chase a man. She sits there on her throne waiting for what it is that she deserves. So what is this king of cups? Knight of Wands reversed. Ooh, Knight of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles reversed. I think there was betrayal in the past. I kind of feel um, it appeared solid and stable on the outside and there was not reciprocity. And I feel this masculine energy is experiencing a crumbling of a false foundation in order for some balance to be restored. Without a doubt, a karmic rebalancing. Maybe somebody's going to be coming back begging for another chance. I do feel somebody here deeply betrayed this empress, and there is, without a doubt, something needing to close out. Um, the ending of a false um, contract is what I'm feeling. This masculine is somewhere in an unrequited love situation. Maybe he's pretending things look great on the outside, but everything's crumbling on the inside. There's a bunch of weasels and rats within a karmic situation, and I think everything's all off balance. There's really nothing left to celebrate there. Um, there's divinely guided change because a higher level of commitment is in focus with the energies today, more Taurus energy. So I think get ready to defend yourself when it comes to this conflict. But let's see what this Empress is all about. Four of Pentacles, the Hanged Man Reverse, the Strength Reverse, Page of Cups. Somebody is very fearful about coming forward, I feel. They've really withheld communication and an apology for quite some time. I do feel somebody's getting ready to shift their perception. I do feel maybe a Pisces energy here has lost a lot of money by gripping to control, hiding behind a mask, playing into fear. I feel somebody here has been a coward when it comes to opening up the heart, opening up the channels of communication. And I do think get ready to receive an apology if you are this Empress energy. What is this judgment reversed, please? Six of Cups reverse, Queen of Swords reverse, Nine of Swords reverse. Oh my God, Five of Wands. Get ready for a fight. Um, somebody's breaking free from a very toxic, extremely codependent um, relationship. The party's over. There's nothing left here to celebrate. Um, nothing ever stays the same. I do feel the ending of a of a false contract, and I think get ready for this Queen of Swords to be lashing out. I feel a very vengeful, um, vindictive, karmic feminine energy that just wants to fight with somebody. And I feel there's been a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, a lot of sleepless nights. When it comes to breaking the chains of this, of this very toxic connection, and I feel get ready for an emotional outburst. I feel somebody is very angry, and there's going to be a lot of illumination when it comes to this toxicity because... There's that divine masculine energy coming through the emperor because the time is now to burn some bridges. It's time to burn these bridges of the past and to step into honoring a higher level of commitment. I do feel a masculine energy here getting ready to break these chains of toxicity, addictions, codependencies, and they are facing a very very harsh karmic judgment from the divine. I feel um, an awakening moment when it comes to manipulative third-party energy, and I kind of feel the time is now for somebody to pack up and move home. I feel these seeds have been planted for a very long time, and there's a lot of truth coming forward. So um, what is this? Eight of Cups, please. 
Six of Wands reversed, High Priestess reversed, King of Wands. Yeah, somebody is getting left out in the cold today. I feel a masculine here getting ready to restore his sense of passion again. To take action with passion because wherever they've been at, there's no victory, there's no success. And I think secrets are coming out when it comes to this deceptive behavior because this King of Wands is a visionary leader. Aries Leo Sag could be dealing with the Pisces. But um, there's a masculine here, I think, getting ready to take back control of his life, to break free from an old mindset. Um, I feel somebody's been in a situation with the blinders on, feeling like there's no way out, feeling very, um, very bankrupt on the inside. So I think get ready to receive a message because there is a masculine here that wants a brand new beginning, wants to do the work. I think bossing up, owning up, doing whatever it takes to bring balance back into their life because they want wish fulfillment, and I think they've been depressed. I feel they're feeling hopeless. I think maybe this empress has a lot of options, and and I kind of feel there's fear around, you know, building that emotional contentment with this empress, but I think there is going to be victory and success, but there is a need for some communication, perhaps a text message on social media, but I think get ready to receive a message because somebody here is breaking free, learning a major karmic lesson because there is something that needs to be, to come back around. A very um a very divinely guided union here. There is a higher power at play when it comes to this expansive union. And so I think get ready to receive a message and apology. Let's go a little bit further here and see what else needs to come through with the love oracle deck. Yeah, somebody's been dealing with a girl with a snake, I feel, in a very toxic empath narcissist paradigm. And they were charmed. They were used. And I feel a masculine here that really needs to enable some firm boundaries as they kind of step into living consciously. I do feel a divine union here where there is a lot of insane chemistry, where two people like and love each other equally and will have a lot of fun together. So get ready. Maybe this offer will quickly lead to an engagement. I feel a higher level of commitment, partnership, a completion of a cycle stepping into eternal union. There is, without a doubt, a soul contract closing out in order for this new soul connection and partnership or this agreement to come together. So somebody's going to be receiving exactly what it is that they deserve. Somebody's moving on, creating that closure. So get ready for a sudden change. A shocking turn of events, maybe an epiphany in the in the moment. There's without a doubt upheaval in order for some transformation to take place. And I think maybe you're not going to be expecting this message coming through because I kind of feel maybe you've been in separation with this person for quite some time and I think they have been missing you. They have been thinking about you. They're yearning for you and there's fear about the future because they do know that they unconditionally love you and they want to bring forward that equal giving and receiving within this connection. I think get ready to fall in love again. So we'll close off the reading with a couple of crystal stone deck messages. Somebody's getting ready to act on their dreams is what I'm feeling. I do feel somebody's been dreaming about this for quite some time. And um, they're getting ready to stare anybody in the face that has been creating them drama. That really has um, been calculating some manipulative behaviors behind their back. So I think somebody really wants to just enjoy life again. And I feel somebody's dealing with like an enemy, a frenemy, um, an enemy in disguise as a friend. And... I feel there is a, a, a very karmic situation. I think get ready for a freak out. A blasting of energies is kind of what I'm feeling. I feel it's sentencing day. And um, it's kind of time to embrace the death of this karmic situation in order to really go after your dreams. I feel somebody's getting ready to crush this negativity and to delight in dreaming big and going after what it is that they truly desire because they're, they're going to trust their gut on this. I feel somebody's acting on their gut instincts and they're about to inject some passion back into their life to come forward with some confidence. So yeah, get ready to receive a message. I think somebody really is getting acquainted with their fears when it comes to coming forward. But I do feel the two of you have some beautiful work to do together and it's time to get this done. So get ready to rewrite your destiny. Um, rainbow blessings is what I'm hearing. So I do, I do feel, um, 
somebody's getting ready to put on their spiritual armor, their utility belt, and to black out all of these negative vices in their life. There's without a doubt a refocusing in the energies today, an awakening when it comes to what steps are needing to be taken in order to build a solid foundation. I think there's been a lot of negative gray thought patterns coming to the surface to be addressed as somebody, you know, releases this lie that they've been living and they take back their power uh, is what I'm feeling. So somebody's en route to um, um, coming after love. So get ready to open up the door. Maybe somebody's going to be knocking on your door, but I think op open the door, receive this message because somebody um, just wants to get back into your good graces is the energies coming through today, guys. I hope this resonated. If it did and you would like to book a personal reading, please feel free to check out the description box below. And I look forward to seeing you all again next time. Thank you.